This video is a quick walkthrough of the GroupWise 18 Messenger installation and configuration process. I'm starting with a virtualized SLES 12 SP3 server that I've just set up. I have already copied the Messenger code distribution pack to the server and I've unzipped it here. To launch the install, I simply open a terminal, find my code, and run the dot slash install.sh command from the server directory. I'll carefully read and consider all of the terms and conditions and continue on. I've already installed on this server, but let's walk through it again so you can see the various packages involved in the install. And once that is done, we have the option to configure the system. I'll say yes. If you are migrating from an existing system, you'll choose option two. I'm going for simplicity in this video, so I'll choose number one. And no, I am not on a cluster. Now you may need this database password down the road, so make a note of what you choose. Yes, I'm using self-signed certificates, and I will take the default port number here. I'll also take the default on the object names for system and server. This IP address is the local machine I'm installing on, so I'll accept that. And I'll take the default no on the bind question here. Again, I'm going with the self-signed certs, so I'll say no here. If you have third-party certs ready to go, then choose yes and set them up at this point. This is my host name on this server, so I'll accept that. And this is the path where the certificates will be stored. I don't need to change that. Uh, default port for the REST service is fine here. Now this step is where we tie into the existing GroupWise administration. I'll enter the address of my primary domain server. I'm using the default port of 9710, so accept that. And enter my GroupWise system admin user and password to gain access. Now here we are setting up a system user for the messenger service. I'll take the default again. On this question, no, I don't want to disable data collection. Answer yes if you have any concerns about that. And here, a final summary is presented, and if we like what we see, we can continue. Certs are created, the database is going to be configured and relaunched, and the last thing it will do is relaunch the agents. Let's let that finish. After it's finished, a handy note is displayed here showing the new syntax for checking the status of your agents. Let's just try one of these and confirm that the service is indeed running. That looks good. Well, thank you for watching. The next video in this series will be on how to configure users for Messenger in the GroupWise Admin Console. Thanks again.